Hey everyone, welcome to our sixth online journaling class. I've been having so much fun trying different activities and styles within my journal, and I hope that you guys have been having fun as well. If you wanted to share any pictures of what you've been making so far with me, I'd really love to see images of what you've been doing at home. Um, this is my email, Mackenzie, M-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E, at rivertreearts.org. ORG. So if you would like to share some pictures, I'd love to see them. I've been having so much fun and I'd love to see what you've been up to. Um, so we're going to be making a pocket page today. So I'll show you a little bit. I did a practice trial run. So we're going to be making pockets within our journal so that you can slide like bookmarks or maybe some photos or whatever you'd like to stick inside your journal. I'm going to show you a fun and easy way to do that. So let's get started. You're going to need your journal, obviously. Um, you're going to want to grab your a magazine. You just need one page out of your magazine, unless you'd like two different types of pictures. You definitely want your ruler today. I've got my scissors, my glue, I've got some washi tape, but that's not necessary. And I've got a pen or pencil, and maybe some markers or pencils if that's what you'd like to use. So let me turn the camera so I can show you how to do this. Okay, so I found a new spot in my journal where there is no writing and I'm gonna take up probably two pages again and I'm not gonna do it on the bookmark page because it would kind of be right in the way. So maybe I'll just skip ahead a few because who knows what I'm gonna to wanna to put behind this bookmark, maybe something else. So just find an empty spread and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is measure how wide your two page spread is so that you know how wide or how long to cut your magazine strip. So mine is five inches on each side. And then my height for my pockets is gonna be five inches as well. So a five by five length and width. So I'm gonna grab my magazine and you can pause the video and flip through your magazine so you can find an image that you'd really like to use. And I'm gonna go about halfway down my magazine page and draw a five inch line across, turn, and then a five inch line up. It does not have to be five inches. It can be four, it can be three, it can be smaller, it doesn't have to be the whole length of your page. And then I just create a triangle by connecting the two lines that I have drawn. So I did a five inch line, turned it, did about a four and a half inch line, and then I drew a line with my ruler to connect those two lines. And then I'm gonna do that again over here with these people on the boat. Actually, maybe I'll do this and that way they can connect. So if you'd like to, you could just do a five by five inch square, cut it in half, and then you'll have two images that are related because you're cutting out the same photo. And you might have a little bit more interesting of a pocket because the two pictures that you cut up were attached. If you don't want that, if you'd like two different pockets that have completely different images, that is 100% up to you. Another trick that I should have probably mentioned is if you don't want to be able to see these pen lines, draw on the back of your magazine. So go to the back, I should have drawn on this back page so that I would hide my pen markings, but it is okay, I forgot to mention that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my five by five inch square down the middle diagonally, diagonally. Sounds like Harry Potter. Um, and then I've got these two different triangles. And I think it's I think these triangles are cool for pockets. You do not have to you use triangles. You could keep the square as it was and maybe cut a little semicircle out of the top so that you just have a square pocket. I kind of like the look of these triangles, so I'm gonna keep going with this. And just so you know, 
I turned my picture so that it is not going the way that it is supposed to go. So it's okay if you turn your photo. If you don't like that, maybe you want it going upright, maybe you position it differently. And you can think about that before you cut it. So my pictures aren't going necessarily the way that they were meant to be, but I like that. I'm gonna grab my glue stick because we need to put our pockets down. But the important thing to keep in mind is that you're not gluing the diagonal line. So I will not glue this line. I'll glue this line and I'll glue the, this line so that I can put pictures or bookmarks or little leaves that I find outside into these pockets. Okay, so I just give my glue a little bit of grip time. Don't try to put anything inside yet. Let the glue dry. So all I did was two different lines so that the diagonal line is still unglued and open. So I'm gonna do the same on this triangle. I am not gluing the diagonal line. And I'm trying to line this up a little bit so that it is symmetrical to my triangle on the other side. Okay, so I've got two different triangles on my spread. These are two different pockets. And then I would like to cut another type of pocket on my page so that maybe I could put in smaller pictures or maybe whatever, whatever it is I want to insert in this tinier pocket. I'm just going to go three by three by three, and I'm going to do a square for this one. Oh, I forgot to turn my page again. Three by three by three inch square. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause this video and take your time. So I drew a three by three by three by three inch square. I'm gonna grab my little handy dandy plant because I'm going to draw a little semicircle in my square so that my pocket has a little place for my finger to lift it up. Okay, so it just, it's not 100% necessary. It's more aesthetic, but I think it is helpful when you're trying to put something in and out of these pockets in your journal. So I'm taking my time with cutting, going slow. I kind of like this man's orange jacket. I can barely see it. Just a little pop of color. And this tinier pocket, I'm going to put somewhere else. I think I need to go over that line again because I can see some of my pen lines and I don't want that. Okay. So I've got my tiny little square pocket and before I glue it down, I can rearrange my page and try to think about where it is I wanna put it. Do I wanna put it up here? Do I wanna put it over here? Do I want it to be on the very top? It could almost act like a bookmark if I were to put something in there. I think I like that idea. So I'm only gluing three sides because remember we wanna leave one open to slide something in. So I'm gluing three sides of my square and I'm gonna put it up here because if I put something in this pocket, it'll sort of act like a bookmark and stick up out of the page. Maybe, maybe it will fit in there. I'm gonna grab some washi tape and use this to sort of anchor, <laughs> anchor because I have a boat nautical theme going on. Anchor my pockets into my journal. So I'm just measuring it, sort of, sort of just going for it. And I'm putting the tape on top of the magazine, overlapping a little bit so that 
you can see the washi tape from underneath, washi tape, and that's okay. I don't mind that you can see that. Maybe if I wanted to, I could add washi tape here and here. Maybe, I don't know if I feel like doing that or not. I think it's okay. Um, maybe I could do a little border of washi tape going down the binder of my page. But now I want to add some doodles on the white spots of my page to sort of jazz it up and give it a little bit more interest. So I'm going to write pocket page with my marker. And I like to write with my marker first in like capitalized letters. And then I go over these letters with cursive. Pocket page. So I wrote it in cursive with my marker. No, excuse me. I wrote it uppercase with my marker. I let it dry for a second and then I just grab a regular black ink pen and I go on top and I like to write the same letters except in cursive. Pocket page right on top with my black ink pen. So th since this is like a nautical theme going on on this pocket page, not like my other um, pocket page that was more garden themed, I'm not gonna do garden doodles because it's a different look. This is more of a nautical look. So I'm gonna grab another marker and do some wavy lines and maybe I'll carry those wavy lines over here. Okay, so I just grabbed a different colored marker. It's sort of like a teal, light, minty green color. And I added some nautical waves. I like to go on top. I don't know why I like to add a little bit more linear detail on top of my marker. Just something I've been doing lately. It makes it stand out a little bit more. So now I'm going to add a couple nautical doodles since that's the theme I chose. I'm going to draw a little seashell, maybe a little fish. I could do some seaweed. I've got my tiny little silly looking goldfish. Maybe I'll add another seashell. And then, let's see, I could add an anchor. Ooh, not sure I know how to draw that right now. If you're like, you totally lost me and I'm in a different direction, but I'm into the pockets, don't worry about it. I was just hoping to teach you how to add some pockets within your journal. I'm just doing some silly, silly little nautical doodles right now. Um, you can be drawing whatever it is that you are using as a theme. Maybe you don't have a theme. Maybe you chose completely random imagery for your magazine clippings. That is totally fine. As long as you feel like you can slip some paper or some pictures or whatever it is you want to put within your journal into these tiny little two page spread. So maybe I'll just add some more seaweed down here. Some big seaweed. Give it a little bit of texture. Whoop, whoop. I could grab my colored pencils and maybe color in some of these doodles so that they're not just black and white. I like to use a variety of tools when I am 
working in my journal. I don't know about you guys, but I grab like everything that I have on my shelves. So I don't know what it is you want to put in these pockets, but it is totally free game. Whatever you want to put in here. Like I said, if you find like a flower petal outside that you really like, or maybe it's you in a picture of your friends that you want to stick inside your journal and you could write about how your day was with your friends, what you did, or maybe you wrote a poem and you'd like to stick it in your journal somehow, but it's on a separate piece of paper. Just stick it in one of these pockets. Um, these pocket pages are limitless. Your, your pages could be different shapes. They could be rectangles. They could have this little tab to help you get into them, but they totally don't have to. There is a variety of different pockets that you can create. So don't be limited to just these triangles. That was just the route that I took. Um, but if, I don't want orange. If you come up with a really cool design, I would love it if you sent a picture of it to me because this is just one way, but you guys are really creative and I'm sure you can come up with a ton of different ways to create pockets within your book or journal. I can barely talk. Okay. Yeah, so you could slide a photo. The thing about this is it's big enough to where you could slide like a big photo into the pocket. This was just something that came in a picture frame that I bought, but it totally fits in my journal. If I wanted to like put a tiny little photo in here, that might stay. It's not very big, but you could make different sized pockets. So I hope you enjoyed making pocket pages. You don't, you can do a variety of these in your journal. It doesn't have to be just one page. Now I have two different pocket pages in my journal and see on this page, I crisscrossed my triangles and overlapped them. And that's really cool because it's like, now I have two pockets on one page. So that's another fun idea. So I'd love for you to send me pictures of what you created today um, and keep me in the loop. And so my email is mckenzie at rivertreearts.org. Hope you had fun, my friends, and I'll see you next time.